In this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable on Vifon Axis cameras. Here I have two different models, a box camera and a dome camera, and they have different firmwares and different menus. I'm gonna show you how to enable on Vif on both of them. So let's take a look here on my screen. Okay, so here I have the Axis Device Manager and I have the two cameras, the Axis P1365 Mark II and the P3225-V Mark II. So here I already have the first camera the P1365 Mark II on the web browser. The first menu here, image, and just to enable OnVIF, I can come here to system, all right? So basically system, and here I have OnVIF. I click here, and what I have to do here is just create a new user with OnVIF. So I click here, let me just create a user here as admin, for example, and the password, repeat the password, and here I can select the group, administrator, operator, or media user. I'm gonna come with the administrator, save, here we go. Now you have OnVIF enabled on this camera. So to test it, we can use a software like OnVIF Device Manager, for example. I already have this software here. You can download it for free. I have the link here in the description, all right? So here I have uh, the cameras. As soon as I enable OnVIF, the camera can be found here, but I need to input here the username and password for the OnVIF user. So here, the username and password, I click login. So I can find different cameras on the network. And with this username and password, I can select here uh, the camera, the P1365 Mark II that already enable on VIF there. See if it works, just click here and wait for a while. So the software is connected to the camera. I click here on live view and now I have the image from the camera. So it's basically working, okay? The second camera here, the P3225, as you can see here, when I click on OnVIF device manager, it doesn't show up because the camera doesn't have OnVIF enabled yet. So let's come to the second camera. As you can see here, this is the first one. We have this kind of menu. On the second camera, the menu is different. As you can see here, it's not on the bottom of the camera. It's here up on the top. I come on setup and here on system options and OnVIF. Same process, I click here to add a user and then I just create a user here. Let's say admin and password. And here you can select the media user, operator or administrator depending on what you're doing there. So hit okay here and it's done. I'm just come back here to OnVIF device manager. Let me just click here and select it again. As you can see, I already have the image from the camera. So it's basically working with OnVIF. So pretty simple. Remember, you have to create a user for the camera. It's the diff a different user. It's not the same user that you log into the camera view web browser. OnVIF is a different user. Uh, access camera to log into the camera view web browser. Here, for example, uh, you use the root user, right? Root is the user and then you have the password. For OnVIF is different. You can select a different user if you want to. As you can see here, for example, I'm using admin user, not root. It's not mandatory to use root here for the OnVIF. So that's how it works. Now you can go to your software, your NVR, whatever you have there and connect the access camera via OnVIF. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next one.